In this video, I'm going to show you an alternate method on creating a topsoil stripping mesh with a tool called Create Closed Mesh, which is found in the model detailing ribbon. Here I have a simple corridor. It's set to the design stage, or final. Um, it's, it is really small. This is 1,500 feet, so we're also going to see this might take a bit. So with the Create Closed Mesh, I'll select that. I am going to select out of these three options, I'm going to select element to depth using element boundary. Um, I will accept that method. It says select top surface. My top surface will be my terrain. So I'm just going to select my terrain. The depth is going to be one foot. I'll accept that. Now it says select boundary surface element. I'm actually going to select my corridor here. And for my feature definition, I am going to use the substrata topsoil. I'll accept that. And now I'm going to data point to accept that. Now I did data point. You can see here it's trying to think. But what I'm going to do here at the same time is I'm going to see how long this takes. Because I do feel it does take a bit. And again, this was only 1,500 feet and the design stage was set to final. Let's see how long it takes to process. Okay, it looked like it's finished here about one minute, uh, 40 seconds. You can see it created a mesh here. In my dynamic window, I'm just going to scroll ahead one. And you can see that it creates this topsoil stripping mesh here. Only for the limits of my corridor. So it's actually it's pretty cool. And for this 1500 feet, it took about a minute and 40 seconds. So I expect if there was some larger corridors, it might take a few minutes. But this is definitely an alternate way to create your topsoil stripping meshes with the Create Closed Mesh tool.